With Khashoggi's murder in question, once again, we're joined by former UK MP George Galloway to discuss. All right, George, to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more from President Erdogan at this stage, considering all the talk of a big reveal coming down today. What was your reaction to his speech? Well, Erdogan is definitely doing the dance of the seven veils. Uh, who knows when the final veil will be uh, revealed? and cast off, but uh, there's no doubt that he's got the goods. Um, I know for certain, because someone close to me has heard the goods, uh, that he has them. Uh, he's Meaning negotiating, the I presume, behind the scenes. Uh, the price will be going up because, frankly, if this audio is released, if the full picture is released, it'll be the most devastating video and audio of the 21st century. It's said that the Crown Prince himself had a conversation, a Skype conversation, with uh, Khashoggi before he was executed. And it's said that the chief of the Crown Prince's office uh, gave the order over Skype to bring me the head of the dog. All of this, of course, utterly devastating to the West's key ally in mm -hmm. the war on Yemen, in the war on Syria, and the uh, key bankroller of Western politicians and media outlets all over the world doesn't get much more serious than this. Shakespeare couldn't have written this story. It's Macbeth <laughs> on steroids, right down to the poor son of Kachokji being forced to go to the royal palace today and shake hands with the murderers of his own father. Those images were, were quite shocking, yes. Uh, can you also talk about the dynamic that's at play here between Saudi Arabia and Turkey? Even before the Khashoggi case, what is the root of the tension between these two regional powers? The rivals for the affection, for the allegiance of uh, the Sunni Muslims in the world. Uh, Erdogan is de facto the leader of the Muslim Brotherhood, the Ikhwan uh, Muslimin. Uh, which is uh, in existence in all countries, uh, is, uh, um, if you like, sometimes an armed wing, sometimes a peaceful and democratic wing, but always one wing, one united wing. The Saudis are beleaguered, um, besieged by the Muslim Brotherhood at home and abroad, and the balance of power has now shifted with this grotesque crime committed by the Saudi royal family. In the words of Talleyrand, when told of the murder of an opponent, uh, his aide said it's a terrible crime. He said it's worse than a crime. It's a blunder. Uh, this case still, though, reminds me a bit of some other more recent examples, like the Skripal affair, where every time we're promised more details, we get a bit more confused. Do you still have any questions uh, un left unresolved about this case? No, uh, breaking news is that uh, the face of Khashoggi has uh, been found uh, under the ground in the garden of the consulate. Uh, and I've just written an op-ed for RT.com, it'll be out this evening, uh, on, on the meaning of that. The Saudi regime is now faced with burying the face uh, of uh, one of its uh, critics, who was only marginally, by the way, a critic. Right. Uh, Khashoggi was a supporter of the Saudi line in most cases. Yeah, that's a key point, because he's been really branded as a dissident writer, but we, no. we know from just looking at his writings that he was very recently, for example, advocating for the partitioning of Syria, uh, which is something that has been a goal of U.S. and uh, Saudi policy. How can we expect justice to come through in this case? Uh, what would you like to see the international community do, and what do you think is a realistic outcome? Well, I, I'm going out on a limb here. I think this story will be the end of uh, MBS, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, and could be the end of President Trump, because after Khashoggi himself, Trump is the biggest loser in this affair. You want to talk about Shakespeare, the relations between Trump's extended family uh, and the extended family that runs Saudi Arabia uh, contains a lot of gold nuggets, uh, some of them yet to be revealed. I think this story changes the world, and uh, you certainly would have needed the imagination of Shakespeare uh, to have written that. Uh, of equal importance to me 
is the scurrying like cockroaches when the light turns up of all these liberal journalists and media outlets that have been on the take from Saudi Arabia. They hoped forever in the darkness, uh, but that's not going to persist for much longer. You're dealing with one of them in your show this evening, uh, uh, Vice, uh, the, the Freedman and the New York Times, the Washington Post itself, the Guardian, many other outlets right. in Britain have all been in indecent uh, relations with the Saudi royal family and they're about to be revealed. Just very briefly, George, are you worried at all that, you know, they could end up pinning this murder on MBS and then get rid of him and say, well, now everything's fine, back to business as usual with Saudi Arabia? I think for Western politicians, it will never be business as usual again, Not, never glad, confident morning again. It's now toxic beyond toxicity uh, to have been revealed to be in any kind of relationship with these people. And if they get rid of MBS, put a new crown prince in, maybe even a new king in, they will try to kickstart uh, business as usual. But I think it's uh, curtains, uh, royal curtains for the Saudi system, the Saudi regime. Very bold prediction there. We'll see what happens. Former UK MP George Galloway, thanks a lot.